I have a new stamp and die set out today that I am so excited to share with you in today's video. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm sharing my new Winter Wishes stamp and die set from Simon Says Stamp. This is a layering stamp set. It can be used for winter or for the holidays, whatever you like, or even just making little bundles of flowers or leaves or flowers or blooms. It'll all make sense. To see my card project that I created with this set, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the stamp set that I'm going to be using today, and this is something I created for Simon's stamp. It is called Winter Wishes. Now I wanna show you the packaging because this is a simple builder stamp set. There's two florals, two leaves, and two branches with berries. So it's all coded on the little sheet here that has the images, so it's pretty easy to follow. I had been wanting to have one like this in my collection, and so now I do. Plus, there are a lot of little greenery leaves here. Well, they don't have to be green, but look at all these little friends that could be used in many other ways, plus some really sweet greetings. Winter wishes, have a Merry Christmas, season's greetings, Christmas wishes, and joyful wishes. So I was thinking holidays and winter. Anyway, that is the set, and today, I am going to combine some stamp inks here. The Rainbow Splash is part of the new collection from Simon Says Stamp, but this is truly the same formula as our positively saturated inks. So they work together beautifully, and I have some colors here. So what I wanna do is first get started with stamping these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys, and then I'm gonna do something a little different for the little stems and berries. So. Let me grab my Misty. I'm gonna take off the florals and we're just gonna go layers U, all right? And I'm gonna stamp a couple of these so that I have some extras to play with. We'll just go ahead and pick this up. I have a piece of Nina Classic Crest in the Solar White in the 110 pound. So these will be nice and sturdy. And I have my grip mat from Waffle Flower Crafts inside to hold these in place. So I'm just getting a bit of that coating off until they look a little dull. And I'm gonna start with my lighter color. This is Crimson. Again, one of the Rainbow Splash colors. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna bring this down and transfer. Now, one of the things that I want to do with this card today is I want to stamp the little centers and emboss them in gold. So I'm going to be doing stamping first and then letting those dry completely so that, let's do a little bit more here, they have plenty of time to dry. All right, that looks great. Now this will stain because reds well, they stain, they stain like a mother. Sometimes, if that really bothers you, you can always keep handy a little Ultra Clean from Simon. Now, will this remove it? Well, we'll see. Sometimes it does if you do it real quick. But honestly, you know, I don't mind if my stamps stain, but you can see right there, yeah, that takes it right off. So if you do it right away, your stamp's gonna be really clean and that is the ultra clean. So, but I wanna make sure this is totally dried off before we stamp more. So let me stamp a couple more here and then we're gonna add in our centers. I've placed the centers in, it's pretty easy to line up and I feel like even if you don't line it up perfectly, it's still gonna look just fine. And here I'm gonna take the slightly darker ink and stamp this down and that is the scarlet. That way, we'll get a little bit of a depth in here in the centers. And I'll stamp this a few times to fill that in. Oh, that looks really good. And even a third time, just a light tap, not squishing it too hard, and press. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the centers of these off camera, and then we'll move on to the leaves. I brought out my bigger Misty because I just realized something that would probably be faster and more productive, and that is this. Okay, we're just gonna make sure this is, oh, right about it, that, the two. Let's see, how does that look? Sure. If I do these all at once and just move my paper, this is gonna be faster. So I have my Fairway, which is the lighter of the two inks that I pulled from my green. So I'm gonna ink up my Fairway, all my stamps, 
bring this down, transfer. Well, that looks really good. I love the little tonal variation. And we're going to go like that. Okay, all good. Then I don't have to clean my stamp. And all I'm going to do is say, let's move this down to what, one inch? Right? I'll just double check. Golden. At least it can be faster. You know, <laughs> I don't know. This, this may not work the way I think it's going to work, but it could. So we're going the one inch. I guess you just have to remember what your what your numbers were so that was one all the way back here uh we started there and now we're gonna go to eight yeah more or less wait no are we we got to come in a little <laughs> every time i try to do something that i think is like hmm, you're gonna use some math here then i think it's gonna be great but you know what it's fine it's fine if it's not there we go all right, that's how we're going to do our leaves. And maybe if I have played my cards right, when I come back to place the uh, veins, if I remember that, so that's eight and a quarter. It was one and then it was two and three quarters, right? I just want to see, was it that? Well, yes, it was. Okay, so technically all I have to do is line up the leaf details all right so pick these guys up yeah that looks good enough and prime a little and then we're going to take the darker color which is field you know what i might do though i might grab a cube sometimes i get ink all over the place so i'm going to take the field cube now that we have all the simon uh, positively saturated inks in cubes and go like that I don't want to smush it too hard. I just want the detail, right? So I'm not going to press too hard, but we'll just do that. And that brings in a little detail. Now, technically, if I come down to one, I think it will. No, no, no. Yes. Wait. Oh, that looks very much like it's going to work. So let's just do it. Even if it's off a little, I don't think it matters. Okay drop. Oh, that's great. So <laughs> this did work. Didn't think it was going to. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. All right. I like that. And then this goes back up to eight and a quarter. And this is why a larger Misty can be such a great tool and investment. I literally had someone email me the other day and say, oh, I was a little off on that one. Huh? Well, you know what? I may not need all these leaves. Uh, yeah, I should have come down more. That's fine. I'm going to keep it because you never know what it'll look like die cut. But you can do things like this. And if you pay attention to your measurements, you'll never make a mistake. So I am going to let this dry as well. And I'm going to move on to the stems. Okay, for the stems, I'm going to be die cutting these separately because... I have an idea and each of these has berries but I think I'm going to stamp the stems first and I pulled a nice little brown which is a mid-tone this is cappuccino which I just pulled the cube here but you can also get these in full size and I'm gonna die cut these because once I have my stems figured out then it will be much easier to cut this part rather than try to align the berries. Of course, that's only if you're planning on die cutting, which today I am because I think it will be kind of fun to have some options. I really don't know what my design is going to be yet, but I like the idea that I have some options and I'm going to stamp them each twice and then die cut them off camera so we can add in our berries. Press and and again you don't have to press too hard to get that nice impression but boy it sure darkens up with the second stamping. All right let me show you the die before I cut this out. Before I get 
two ahead of things. There are coordinating dies that cut everything out of this set. So it's quite a fun die set to have all these dies for the pieces. Now, I wanted to show you here. I have some Hero Arts metal snips, and I found these are really nice for cutting because they get right into very small places. And so this is how I cut my dies apart. And once I get most of them apart, oftentimes I will also come in and clean up to the best of my ability all the little pointy nubs. But now I can take this and I can line up the stem. And if I have the stem right and I go ahead and cut this, then stamping is going to be a lot easier for the, uh, the berries. And that's what I'm gambling on. I mean, <laughs> That's what I say. But here where the little points are, what I will do is I will come in and twist and just try to get it off as close as I can, just so that I don't poke myself. So if you're looking for some nice snips, this is one of two pairs that I have and they're quite nice. Also, that's not blood on my hand. That's just rainbow splash ink. All right, let me get these lined up and cut out. So now I'm gonna take my berries, B2, and I'm gonna see if I can do this. Now I might have some issues because this is not feeling as sticky right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is press as hard as I can here to hold that. Let's just get you out of the way. Because now once you have your uh, stem, right, then you can just line up your berries and it's probably gonna be just fine I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna stamp it on some acetate. Now here's my, my lovely thing. I hope this stays um, and doesn't come up with the acetate, but let's take a look, okay? Stamping it right on the acetate. That's pretty good. I think it needs to come down a tiny bit. And that, my friends, is why having a piece of acetate is so helpful. But the other thing, with this is that if you stain your stamp, it also makes it much, much easier to see where you are putting it. Now that I love. All right, so let's try it again. Make sure this is all dried off. Okay, again, this needs to not move. Press. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time just here and see, like that. That's what we're looking for. So then you just lift this up and bring down our berries. And then I will repeat for all the other pieces like that. So now I have a nice little berry on top and those line up nicely with the stems. So the next part is to stamp our centers in here. So this is A3, A3 is the large one. Right in the middle, but we are going to stamp, oh, it's very sticky, and emboss. And this one little guy down here, E3, that one goes in here. So we're going to get this all prepped. These have been drying the whole time I've been working on Come on, let go. You're so sticky. You're so sticky. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on, let go. Real true stories. I wonder if I could just, I used to use a pencil eraser. Let's try that. There we go. Because it just doesn't really matter. As long as they're just in the center, right, we are going to add gold powder. So I'm going to do all of them at once, but first, we're going to take our anti-static powder from Simon Says Stamp and just powder up each little guy. Now it's going to make it look a little dull, but that will all just brush away. And we're going to stamp these friends. You know, too, you don't, I could, not, I could do other things than a Misty here, but you know, when in Rome, when in Rome, use a Misty. So I'm going to go ink these up. And really, the thing that's going to be kind of fun about this is that, I mean, it's going to just kind of look like a blob. It's not, <laughs> I just squished it down a little hard. And that is fine because I don't mind because 
that's kind of what I want. Ink up, and of course this ink will stay wet long enough to hold my powder. Clean you, clean you, and the last one, let's just put you right there. Gets less sticky, but it's still, <laughs> come here, get in there. Get off my finger. I don't know why, but you pencil erasers just don't have much of a stick which is kind of nice. All right. Now the reason you would want to wait for all of the saturated inks and the rainbow splash inks to dry is so that you don't end up with powder sticking everywhere on your flowers. Not that that's the worst thing, but so we have all these lovely blooms and I'm going to use Brutus Monroe embossing powder. This is the gilded. Just put those on the centers. And if I played my cards right, everything else will fall off. So now I just have my centers that will be gold. Now, look how pretty those are with the subtle detail of the darker ink, but now we have the gold centers. Let me use the coordinating die. I have not even cut these out. I'm going to cut these out here and here and go ahead and cut all the flowers out, and then I'm going to pick a greeting. I am going to stamp winter wishes and the little scripty have a Merry Christmas is that what it says? Have a Merry Christmas. I think so. Underneath, because I think it's beautiful and I think it would be a lovely combination. So I am going to take my anti-static powder tool and if I can find it, there it is. But I'm actually going to use my Versamark pad for these particular greetings because it's a very dry pad and it actually does really well with this fine detail. My new embossing pad from Simon is very juicy. And so I don't re-ink this. I just let this be the one that's not very juicy. And sometimes it works so well for something like that, which is a very delicate greeting. And I'm not pressing very hard. Just wanna transfer. That one can take a little more. Let's see what the powder looks like on here, okay? Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's nice. See how delicate that is? Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. I love it. I have to show you something that I love. When I designed this little winter wishes, I really wanted the H line that goes up the little A center to run right into the base of the N. I just thought that was fun, but these look great. So I will grab whoop, this die and the larger die, get those into position, and then I'm gonna cut out an extra layer for each just to give it a little more stability, and I'll glue those all together. I decided to cut a panel, and this is called the pin cushion plate. And I am going to pop out, this is why these <laughs> new little Simon uh, pads are so great, because you can just pop right through onto your pokey pad. So if anyone's stuck in a way that you don't want it, you just push, push, and push it right through. I think I'm going to use this. I'm not 100% sure, but I wanted to create a little tone on tone panel for my card, but I'm actually gonna trim this down just a little bit as well. So I could put something behind here, like a, a piece of gold cardstock. That would look kind of pretty to have little gold pieces coming through rather than paper piece it all in. You know, you could do that, but yeah, you know, I've already, <laughs> we're already going all in on this card. So probably won't do that, but let me keep poking into the pad and we will continue. I'm going to trim this down ever so slightly, making sure that I still get 
most of my pattern in here and most of my dots, okay? Because I want there to be a border on this, so I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and then I'm going to cut a slightly, well, I might even cut the same size and I am going to do it in gold because I think that would look beautiful. All right, let me cut those pieces out and glue them together. I am putting very, very small dots of liquid glue all the way around and I'm not going to have it ooze in between where the like little almost score lines are either. So just enough that's going to hold my gold panel of cardstock in place. I think this is going to be just great. So now that I've got all of that in place, I have my panel here in the Simon Says Stamp matte gold. And what I did was I trimmed just a little off each side just so that when I go to put this down, we fully encompass the background like that, right? Like that. And now when I turn it over, there will be no oozing, but I'm gonna have this beautiful, subtle gold background for my design. I still don't know what the design is, but we're gonna do that next. Now comes the part I'm not great at. <laughs> After all this work, I'm going to do some arranging. Now I already made a note card. This note card is four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half tall. So US A2 designation. And I put some of the Simon Says Stamp Big Mama foam tape on the back. I like this foam tape because it has a lower loft. I think it's like, a sixteenth of an inch instead of an eighth of an inch, but it's nice because it's a really affordable, big, ginormous roll, and uh, yeah, it's a thinner loft, so when you have a lot going on on your card, it doesn't bulk it up too much. And I'm going to take my little panel here and just pop that down so we're doing a nice white border all the way around a little tone on tone with that fun pattern, but also again, you know, you have that beautiful gold paper behind. I just thought I'd add a little extra. So I put some thin foam squares on the back of Winter Wishes, and I like that I can put this in between the dots and this kind of right in between the dots so we don't lose all the dots. But now, <laughs> Here's where I get really confused. Okay, I know I'm gonna have at least one of these guys popped up. So let's uh, let's just do it. I'm gonna add foam squares just to the center because I know I'm gonna have to tuck some things under and I'm never 100% sure where they're gonna go. So we'll put a little friend here. And actually this might need to be, this might need to come up higher. Well, I don't know yet, that's the problem. Uh, arranging not my forte. So then what we have here is we are gonna have our greeneries. And here's the thing, I probably don't even need all the greeneries, right? So we'll have a little guy there. We're gonna have a little leaf maybe coming out here. We're gonna have another guy here up top. Maybe I'll use this little friend up here, okay? So the thing is, I don't need all the things. I don't even know if I need all the big leaves, but we'll we'll see what what what's what. All right, so we got that. Um, I definitely want to have one of these coming out, but I think, I think I'm going to cut because I don't need it to be quite that big. Five minutes later. Another one of these coming out somewhere, maybe through the bottom, maybe through the side. So I feel like the first thing I should do actually is glue down the center and just kind of start pulling these guys out. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is not, I never know what I'm doing. There are people out there who are really good at this arranging of things. I don't, I don't think I'm horrible, but that is why I wanted to have a set like this that I created so that I could play with this type of thing, you know, I, I wanted I wanted this <laughs> to be able to do this. Okay, then I'm gonna kind of zhuzh that up a bit, and let's get you. Now is that where the is that where the foam squares are? It might be. Let me let me cut a little. 
because I need this to go, that's what I need, okay? So you're gonna go there. You are gonna get cut a little too. Let's just glue. I'm gonna speed this up, otherwise you're gonna listen to me talk forever. And that is my finished card project. Now this is a little different for me, right? Look at all that good detail in there. And I didn't end up using all the flowers, which is totally fine. I'm not really great at flower arranging, but I do have a few extras here that I could do other things with. I don't wanna put another one of those in because I felt like that reads one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But I think that little panel with the little shiny background actually really helps a lot. So that's an introduction to my Winter Wishes stamp set. I have more ideas that I'm going to be sharing for this stamp set, so stay tuned to my channel and we will have more good stamping fun. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. To see more holiday card project ideas, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below, and I'll see you in those videos.